Don't be deceived, Mother is not a horror film. It is very deceiving how they market this film as some sort of a horror film. But even though it is not a horror film, it is a very intriguing movie to discuss. Spoiler alert! It is very obvious that there are many biblical references in the movie. The biblical reference is far from accurate, but it makes the movie very interesting to talk about. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> Sorry. First of all, it's pretty clear that the husband is God and the wife is Mother Nature. Hence the title of the movie, Mother. The movie is from perspective of Mother Nature. Mother Nature loves God very much. But she is getting frustrated that God loves men even more. Mother Nature is intimately connected to the house. I believe the house is the earth or the nature itself. Biblical reference is very clear when we are introduced to first guest. The first guest played by Ed Harris is first human, Adam. We see that God loves Adam very much. Adam also respects God. It is obvious that the guest's wife is Eve. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Yeah, you made it. With my better half. Get rid of that. When Adam was throwing up yeah, in the toilet, we see a scar in his rib. The scar is reference to where Eve come from. According to the Bible, Eve came from Adam's rib. Also, you notice that Eve came next day after the incident in the bathroom where we saw Adam's scar. Morning. Morning. How are you feeling? Wonderful. <laughs> I'm confused. Who's that? I'll get it. No, don't. I'll get it. Adam's two sons are Cain and Abel. They hate each other and eventually Cain kills Abel and wanders into the woods. Stop! Eve loves Adam, but she is very cunning and deceitful. Is it him? I'm sorry. Was I too forward? I do that sometimes. God's office represents Forbidden Tree. Is that where he works? It's private. Oh, can't you just give me a peek? He doesn't like anyone being in there without him. Eve was warned not to go in there, but she does it anyway and broke God's precious stone, which represents Adam and Eve's eating forbidden fruit. Eventually, God is disappointed and kick them out of the house, which is like God kicking out of Adam and Eve from God. What have you done? I'm so sorry. We're both sorry. I was telling her the story. It just, just, it just but, fell out well, of my I, hand. We'll, we'll search and find we it another one, I promise. We'll Quiet! But soon Adam and his large family member barge into the house again and they start destroying the house. They eventually broke the pipe and water fills the house and God kicked them out again. This represents the flood. Eventually, God finishes his new poetry. This is the New Testament. Is that it? I finished it. Everybody starts to celebrate and worship his poetry by barging into the house again. My God is come here. Come. No, stay away from me. No, please, Lear. Thank you. They love it. They understand all of it. But it affects everyone in a different way. It is remarkable. Oh God, what I mean. No, God. no, no, I, I don't want to. Soon we see the mother giving birth to a son. The son represents Jesus. I'm not sure how Mother Nature is involved in the birth of Jesus, but like I said before, this isn't the most accurate account of biblical story. People love Jesus, but quickly they kill him. After they kill him, they ate him, which represents the communion. If you remember, communion is a symbolic gesture of eating Jesus' body. Soon all hell break loose in the house. Eventually the mother snapped. <laughs> and she decided to destroy the whole house by igniting on fire. We see that there's a secret basement where all the oils are stored. This represents oils and minerals hidden under the earth. Don't! don't. Please don't. Oh! At the end, everybody dies and mother is badly injured. Obviously, nothing can hurt God. Mother eventually dies and gives God her heart. Her heart turns into a sacred crystal that we see in the beginning of the movie.
<laughs> we see that at the end, the mother is expendable. God is able to create another mother nature and eventually new house. We see new mother nature, but she's not Jennifer Lawrence and she's a different person. So it starts all over again. Baby? I'm not sure what the moral of the story is, but what I got from the movie is that God loves humans so much that He is willing to sacrifice the mother nature and earth and let humans destroy the earth. Because at the end, He can always recreate the earth again and start all over. Knowing this biblical reference, watch the movie one more time. You'll see things more clearly. Are you happy? If you like this video, please subscribe and like this video. There will be more videos like this to come. Yeah!